In this video, I'm going to show you how to start up and create an account using the program called Tinkercad. You're going to go to www.tinkercad.com, T-I-N-K-E-R-C-A-D.com, and it should take you to this website right here. Uh, if you already have an account, you can click on the Sign In button up on this top right corner. But if this is a first time creating an account, you're going to click on Sign Up. It'll first ask you what country you live in and your birthday. Uh, Tinkercad, if you are over the age of 13, uh, it won't restrict anything. If you're under the age of 13, you will need to have an adult verify the account. Uh, there are two ways to get an adult to verify your account. You can have a parent put in uh, a credit card and apply 50 cents to a uh, charitable organization to prove that they are an, uh, an adult. Or you can come see a teacher who has a Tinkercad account uh, and I could give you, or that teacher can give you a special code to activate your account. Uh, and so if you are one of my students, come and see me and uh, I can generate a code and it will activate the account for you. Now I've entered a, uh, a fictitious birthday and clicked on the next button and now it's going to ask you for a username a password and your parents email address uh, and so if you're creating it for a student in the Seneca Valley School District my recommendation is for the username to be the same username you would for to use at school uh, which would be your last name first initial middle initial the password uh, Tinkercad has a little level of security where you have to have a letter and a number in your password. So I always recommend for students, and this helps me uh, if I need to troubleshoot an account, to have the password as the letters S, V for Seneca Valley, and then your school number, uh, the, the, the six digit number you would use to log into the laptop at school or to buy lunch or check out a book in the library uh, at our school. And then for the parent's email address, uh, you can put your parent email address, or if your parents don't have an email address, or if you prefer to just to use uh, mine, my email address is F-O-G-L-E-E-M at S-V-S-D dot N-E-T. You can always put my email address in, and then just simply click the create account. If the username you've chosen has already been selected, you'll get a message telling you that. If not, it'll automatically go to your uh, first page. If you're over the age of 13, it'll immediately start you in the first lesson. Uh, there are built-in lessons that Tinkercad has to teach you how to use the program, or it will take you to a page to have, wait for a parent verification. This is where you can have your mom and dad verify through the email you put in, and they put that 50 cent on the credit card, or you come and see me for that code and I will give you a code and you can type that code in and it will automatically apply. And that's it. That's how you create an account using Tinkercad.